Okay, Nerds of the North! Nerds of the North again! Nerds of the North again, round two. Screwed up the first fucking time. Yeah. So Thor, Dark of the World, Dark World. This is a sequel. Yes, this is a real sequel. A real sequel that is actually better than the original. Yeah, it's, it's surprising. It really is. Very surprising. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed this. Yeah. Uh, you gotta go see it in theater. Yeah. You've gotta see it in theater. There's no other way around it. Now, this, I got invested in the story right off the bat. Like, it's, they gave a great prologue. They showed, but they didn't tell. Yep. And, yeah, like, the CGI wasn't too bad until the final fight. But you've got people jumping through fucking the magical portal rings. <laughs> There's no other way. Okay, somebody had yeah. fun. Somebody who wrote this movie played Portal a lot. Yeah. Because that's what this movie is. It's Thor with Portal. It played. They played a lot of comic relief with the Portal. A lot of comic relief, but even, it worked. Yeah, even there, without it, like there was a lot of a lot of comic relief in this movie. Like. It, Without it, it probably wouldn't be as No, precisely. Good. Without it, I don't think I would have enjoyed the movie as much. But yeah. with it, it worked and it worked well. Uh, fuck. Yeah, good movie. Like A lot of the returning cast came back, which was great to see. The story works. Um, a lot of build-up. A lot like, of build-up. I'm it, surprised we didn't see S.H.I.E.L.D. at all. Yeah. They dropped the name dropped shield yeah. numerous times. Yeah. But they never showed up, which was great cuz for once let me see a movie without shield. Yeah. Right? It was great with the Iron Man when shield came in partway through it. But uh yeah, definitely see this. Like most of the movie I think it's on it's on Asgard, which is weird. Yeah. I'm a fan of Norse mythology, though, so seeing Asgard was great. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. A, when they the shot of them at, like with the whole city. The shot of the funeral scene was fantastic because yeah. that's how you do a funeral scene in Norse mythology. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a war movie. People die. Yeah. But I'm not telling you who, <laughs> so you can shut up about spoilers. Now we can talk about the feature of Loki in this film. Yeah, Loki was re really well done. Um, I'm glad they brought him back, and I am happy with how they brought him back. Yeah, it wasn't too much. It was. It, it wasn't like uh, he was brought in as a wasted character. They yeah. used him and used him properly. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it was r really true to Loki. Yeah. Really, sure. really true to the whole character concept of Loki. Yep. So uh, yeah, you got to see this. Yep. Uh. You uh, you watched this with your 2D glasses? Yeah, I saw it with 2D glasses on this time. Uh, Marvel 3D doesn't really sit well to, with me very often, so tried it out this way and uh, worked great. I I stuck with the 3D. Um, personally, do you have any I, problems with darkness? Yes, there was a little bit of problem with that. Um, at the start of the movie, I noticed it more. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of blurry scenes, uh, the yeah, fast sure. action scenes. Um, other than that, towards the end of the movie. I didn't notice any like major problems with it. Like yeah. I'd still sort of recommend it. Like it's not a big deal. Obviously, if you don't have access to 2D glasses, I would recommend it in 3D other than going to a standard theater, especially if you have the access to the AVX, which is probably only going to be a 3D. Yeah, showing. and for 2D glasses, if you really want to try them out, just search them up online. You'll find them. I think they're seven bucks or eight bucks a pair. They're worth it. I enjoyed it. Yep. Okay, Nerds of the North back again. This is the trailers that we saw. Start with the best. Start with the best. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Yes. This is interesting. Um, was, really more of a sneak peek than a trailer. I, I know. Think. I wasn't even expecting this to come up. No. Like, uh, cause we haven't seen this trailer anywhere else. No, I haven't seen this trailer anywhere it else myself. Be, it might be out, but we haven't seen it. Um, and it's it was it was a long trailer, but yeah. it was <laughs> it was action filled. That's for sure. Action filled for sure. Um, who is the guy with the metal hands? See, is that supposed to be a? 
I don't know. I don't know who this guy is with the metal hands, and what's he doing picking up America's shield? Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, that trailer? You know what? I'm spoiling something from that trailer. The fucking shield base crashes. Yeah. And that was amazing to see. <laughs> no Tony Stark to save you this time. That's pretty funny, yeah. Uh, we also saw Delivery Guy, which is uh, the Vince Vaughn 500 Kids movie. Yeah. That looks interesting. Looks interesting. Doesn't look too bad. Um, Anchorman 2. Oh, yeah. A little pre... Yeah, yeah. A quick little shot for Anchorman 2. Yeah. Um... Honestly, I'm gonna say for me, both of those movies are Netflix. Yeah, see, I, I personally, since I've watched the first Anchorman so many times, I'll def, I don't know if I'll end up making it to the theater or not, but yeah. I'll definitely probably, make probably buy it just to have in my collection. It's one of those movies that, yeah, whatever. Now those two are definitely um, Netflix for me, but Forty Seven Ronin looks just crazy enough that I want to see it in theaters. <laughs> just crazy I enough. I want to see Keanu with the katana. It, it has potential, but even in the trailer you notice, we notice like CG kind of... Oh, there's going to be major CG issues with this because it's a CG filled movie. Yeah, and obviously it's probably not the massive, massive budget that you get with the Marvel movies. Maybe not, no. Um, am I forgetting anything? <laughs> Save the worst for last, my friend. No, we, we didn't watch that. <laughs> it didn't happen. No, no, I've blocked that from my memory, okay? Your childhood has been raped. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's been brutalized since it was announced, and now it's just being fucking drugged I, behind the train. I remember when it got announced, and you were even going nuts then. I'm sure this... The fucking trailer for RoboCop. <laughs> yeah. One, I didn't see a single OCP mark. Two, why does he fucking look like Kit on legs? <laughs> Three, Ed 209 should not be a stealth bomber on legs. Four, why did you save Murphy's arm and 90% of his face? Yeah. And it's not even his face. The fucking helmet comes off and it's his full head. <laughs> yeah. God that, damn it. That was, yeah. And just to piss off, just to fucking gouge and twist the knife in a little bit deeper like Sony and Microsoft. It's another... It's they fucking have you... They show you the original RoboCop costume. The steel gray, the boxy design. And... The fucking guy goes, no. Make him look more stealth. Fuck you. It's another butchered original uh, Absolute, series. Absolutely butchered. Hollywood, knock it off with the fucking remakes, okay? This is... This is a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm fucking losing my language here because of this. God damn it. God, God damn it. But, yeah. ugh, and they they stole the fucking line. This I did <laughs> not need to see this piece of shit ver envisioning of RoboCop say the most iconic line from the RoboCop series. You know they were going to say it, though. If it's, in a li if it's a licensed RoboCop in the name... Oh, fuck that. You know they're going to say it. Fuck like, that. Get her alive. You are coming with me. Oh, you just took all the fucking magic out of that because yeah. it wasn't Murphy. Yeah. If fucking Peter Weller is anywhere attached to this project, I will fucking be surprised. Yeah, we're going to... If I see his name anywhere, I will come out to theaters for this. Until then, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. <coughs> I'm not even wasting a free ticket on this goddamn movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck this. That's pretty joke. Anyways, it's late. We got work. Thor the Dark World, check it out. Yep. Highly recommended. Until then, Nerds of the North, second re review down. Hopefully you can see us this time around. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Take care, guys. We'll see you all later. See you in December. See you in December. We will. <laughs> no, it's not even going to be December. I know, I know. I we'll, we'll be back. Um, Hunger Games? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be back for Hunger Games Catching Fire. Yes. Take, th take care till then, guys.